Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign where I am trying to survive as long as possible against uh, very, very, very large amounts of enemies with ballistic weapons and no armor upgrades. We, I'm starting to regret a little bit the no upgrades because we're running out of uh, fuel. I noticed we are sort of mid-game and Archons uh, are already really kicking our rears. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to like go all the way with uh, the uh, available equipment. Potentially it's not possible, but we're going to find out. I cancelled a couple of uh, a couple of build requests and instead uh, got us our uh, mind shield here, so that's going to go a long way. Uh, we are going in with a B team ish, uh, so a couple of people from the B team. Hogbite slots in nicely just to help them carry a little bit more. And uh, since we are uh, neutralizing that field commander, I figured uh, giving DM uh, our or the DM our newly uh, created assault infantry a new uh, choice. Giving him a first mission is not the best, uh, is not the worst of ideas. So, with that, we do have an actually quite well rounded team. Uh, Noxus has his extra slot for for um, uh, ammunition, which is great. So, he's the only one uh, besides uh, the Zappers who can actually use three items. And I really appreciate that. Though it's a cool combination, I generally like. Um, all of uh, the new uh, kind of custom abilities uh, that that the mod is bringing in so every soldier really feels unique in a sense all right landed that's a huge map and it's a frozen map i like it the new map tiles are actually fantastic really well done can only congratulate the ones that are uh, the modders that have produced it. I can make it. Okay, let's take a solid position. Okay, well, the trick with these missions is you don't want to immediately unnerve and uh, start a firefight because it will trigger the timer. But the problem is, due to the vigilance, if I move to here, I can guarantee you there will be more pots and then uh, the super heavy turrets are kind of in our side. That will make it super dangerous, if anything. Moving to position. Guide my hand. So yeah, I'm moving as far to the front as possible. And then I'm hoping that we can hack one of these turrets. Okay, well that would be a good setup, right? Hacking them. And start to engage. Fail safe. Okay, very good. That electronic warfare uh, skill is paying dividends. So we have not lost our concealment yet. And I intend to keep it that way. Moves up. 
Donc ça. Uh, we're moving all the way to here. Understood. Moving out. Heading there now. Heading there now. Okay, next turn I think we can engage. I was sort of hoping they would come a bit closer to us, but that seems to be not the case. a grenade worth it for just two hmm it potentially is shreds them as well and we have another one so we're fine I would expect three to four packs so Starting with our new best friend, Heavy Turret. Shoots on to other Heavy Turret. Pfft. Yeah. here and let's just take out the mech good that worked like a charm Taking a couple of shots uh, to start getting close and personal with the enemies. Okbite doesn't have the reach to go any further than that anyway, so might as well build up some sweet, sweet focus. That's a parry. And we're moving up with the DM. 27% uh, is really working well. Heavy turret will be with us for two more turns. I could set it up now. Which is fine. It won't tank a lot anyways, so... I think the puppeteers had persistent zombies. can come to that in a second. We still don't know where the Advent General is located. We'll 
very much uh, stunned, which is good. The M moves up. And unfortunately misses the zombie. Let's try that again. Crit and another crit. Okay, that's good. The data cache is good and Hogbite is up to maximum focus. That's good. At the same time, we're just making sure that Absolutely. our turret here is going to go down. Time to hack and see what kind of bonuses we can get. Yeah, I'll take that. It's not great, but it's okay as a bonus. Well, now we do have the problem. We need to kill the Advent Commander, who is deep, deep, deep in the map. And we only know that he's somewhere out there. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, yeah. On the positive uh, side, I think we have just found um, the enemy. What kind of a meager ass strike was that, please? Next round we can most certainly begin to hit. In the meantime, now we're going to take some damage with Hawkbite, but in return, this guy is going to take some damage as well, thanks to uh, Blade Storm. Okay, we're charging in. Another pack of aliens. Almost got him down. And this would be the parry. All right, back in action. Needed to take a short break after that engagement. So, we want to make sure that he is not going to get away. I am asking myself the question though, who should take uh, the overwatch shot? DM answers it by Moving carefully alongside uh, that side. Move. 
Yeah, I don't want to move too far in. I tell you what, <coughs> we want to make sure that this guy dies. In the meantime, we already know there is a pack here. We gotta be a bit careful. Um, high ground would be good. So let's put a couple of our units up here. Uh, there's a window so that I don't want to push in. We, there could be a pack over here. Tired of waiting around. Good, we're moving up. <clears throat> He's automatically dead already, so... There's no point in pushing in further. I like these dual crates here. Two times half cover. That's fun. That's a cool setup. Okay, we're overwatching just in case. Um, typically when you kill the general, the remaining pots will come in. Well, good news. We are definitely having a solid position here. And none of the enemies triggered so far. Oh, so, oh, okay, well, wait. So this one crate here blocked enough line of sight the game is always such a jokester right <laughs> hilarious yeah if you really think about it that one crate apparently blocked the entire line of sight But, at the same time... We're making sure that these guys are not going to take any actions against us. Um, we have free reload, so might as well benefit from it. Fed suppression. Sort of don't want to charge out there. <clears throat> Just reducing the enemies on the field. Blinding protocol against the mutant. Good enough. Into Overwatch. Scanning. Covering now. Um. Could kill the soldier. It's a diff I don't like the move. We'll do something else, something that uh, you put, potentially wouldn't have expected, which is a vault. Lots of overall damage. Mm. 
What? Alright, Blazing Pinions, where's my overwood shot? We had one up here. Yeah, never mind. could kill the officer. That's actually a cool turn. Let's get it. Advent Mac. Sixty percent, I'll take that. Oh yeah. Okay, and now we one shot the advent officer. Unfortunately, we're trading it in against a codex. Not the best trade. We have complete access to the advent bionic network. But damn it. Double kill in one round. Uh, what? That appears to be the codex. <laughs> Why do we get a purifier on top of it? We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Okay, well... I tell you what, we need to be efficient with our action economy. Giving one over to uh, to uh, to Haywire. Shredding and preparing the purifier. And shredding that advent mac. Um, hmm. Good. Free mind on there. Get the shield bearer. Rapid deployment into. Can we hit both? Please. Okay, if we could hit both, that would be the absolute fantastic turn. Yes, maybe, no. Um, well. 
press him. But it's just not enough to get both. Uh, so we'll remove uh, the overwatch from the mutant. <coughs> And uh, take him out for now. Enemy down. And suppress him. Okay, cool. So far that worked out well. Uh, could move all the way to here. Five. Let's try something, shall we? Good, so that's one down. That's the second one down. I think we can kill the shield bearer. But we also got blue screen rounds. So actually we could kill, potentially kill the codex. Ah, not enough. Still. Okay, well, doesn't matter now. We're moving a little bit further back. All of these are taken out. And slowly but surely he, uh, the Archon is getting more and more damaged. Alright, Bladestorm plus the explosion should be enough to get the shield bearer down. The rooftop is completely open by now. Yep, there we go. That worked like a charm. Sonic Bomb. That removes his stupid overwatch and debuffs him for next turn. Let's try to get uh, the mutant first. Shred him. Not good. Okay, we still have an option to shred him. Add the mech, moves up. Removes the cover. We're moving up to the mutant. Almost down. Yeah, I would love to kill him. All 
thankfully that worked. Good. Time to get that Archon. And we're fully tanking it. Parry here. <clears throat> we're good. And... Namri can't move. Well, now she can. She was just flying over. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Stupid bomb. Yeah, it hits uh, the two on the roof. I fully expected that. Good, we have blue screen rounds. So, moving up. And that's a straight up kill. It appears some physical remnant of the codex was left behind when it dissipated. Some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Okay, let's see if there is another pack over here. The answer is likely no. We're taking the little bits and pieces of uh, cover up here. Location confirmed. <coughs> Already reducing the hit points off the Mac. Back online. We have confirmation. Mission accomplished. Ooh. Well, we're, we just reduced uh, the Avatar project by two. Oh yeah, fantastic. Really happy with how that uh, worked out. And I'm getting the hang of those little tricks, like with the remote mine, placing them correctly, free placement of grenades, and so on and so forth. Hogbite just received the major rank. Argwave is great. We're going to take that. And we might just take Lightning Hands because that is free damage as well. This here is awesome. If he could get Sustenance on top, it would be one of the best Hogbite uh, uh, rolls that we've ever seen. Truly a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Well, that means a lot coming from you, hairless dude that has never shown his identity. Oh, I could get another uh, Guerrilla Ops. I actually like that. We should uh, keep this one for whenever it's needed. Got another facility lead, which we're researching soon, into supplies. That's a good one. Into, we have enough intel to purchase a couple of things. Need 130 left over. Superior speed is great. We're taking that one. Oh, superior scope. Yes, please. Superior autoloader is also good. Superior speed is great as well, though. Uh, 
Um, well, we need 80 to make a contact. And I want to keep that for now. Setting a tiny bit of uh, that just to be affluent again. Matter of fact, I think we can set even more Alarium. That will give us um, enough to upgrade. At least the Templar. And now let's just start the scan up here just got a start the scan that'll allow you to always keep it going for a bit you have destroyed i would want to make contact and with it goes your opportunity at understanding the knowledge it contained seven days i think we could do that prior to the end of the month Two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bomb. Look at that plasma grenade. Send them out together in the field. Their Advanced explosives them. would be great. That would allow all of the grenades to be upgraded. In the meantime, continuing the bond between the others. And yeah, they're still on covert action. The moment that they return, we can work with them. Willpower loss in combat sucks, but there are definitely worse options. Engineer and Intel. And it's a relatively easy mission to rescue him. The game seems to be throwing us a bone. So, yeah, we got a few majors that are doing very well for themselves. I think this mission could be one where we're actually taking the B team for a ride. It's an easier one. Mostly Dr. Shen. Particularly useful in the long time. I'm more than happy to leave the hard decisions to the commander. And by the way, I think. Uh, Superior speed is fantastic for a tech specialist. Um, yeah, Dark Tower doesn't have anything yet. Advanced speed wouldn't be bad either, I think. Sona could use it. Um, but I think the DM might be best suited for it because he's a melee, uh, <clears throat> a melee unit that is focused on actual close up combat. Okay. So far that worked out well. Uh, we're getting battlefield medicine next. Archon autopsy is coming through. So that's actually working out very nicely in our favor. Um, things are going good for once. We do have access to the South African facility. So that's not bad either. And yeah, we, we can work with that. Good. Anyways, guys, um, I think that's it for today. Uh, if you have access to a South African facility as well, check whether they store a couple of like buttons in there and uh, let me know if you successfully found them. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.